thought this this article, this study was really interesting. Um, the a minority of women, but a large minority of women, have Y chromosome gene sequences in their blood and organs, and the Y chromosome is the male chromosome. So, what they figure is that it's from women who have been pregnant or have miscarried or had an aborted son, and well, male or female. The pregnant woman carries cells from her fetus within her bloodstream and her organs for the rest of her life, um, whether the baby came to term or not. But they found, they did a study of 120 women, and three of them had never been pregnant, yet they still had uh, male, or the Y chromosome uh, floating around in their blood. So what they're concluding is that through intercourse, there is a potential for women to hold on to male genes and DNA within their organs and their bloodstream. That's pretty big. So the more people that you that a woman would sleep with, the more DNA, the more genes that she could possibly carry around with her. Now, this article goes on to say that, you know... Uh, a spiritual friend and mentor told her that every time you sleep with someone, you're taking a part of them with you. That's not what they meant, obviously. <laughs> they were more like thinking energy-wise. Um, and then they go on to say that sex is not something that is meant to be thrown around or given out so freely. It's a sacred act that creates a bond between two people. Yes, but evolutionarily speaking... It is meant to be thrown around and given out freely because even if you, even if the woman doesn't get pregnant, she now is carrying different genes and different DNA than she had previously. So it is a, a boon to the species for a woman to have sex with as many partners as possible. So I think that's the, the point of the study that, that I, at least that I got out of this is that even just by the act of having sex, it helps to strengthen the species. Even if a child is not produced from it, the woman is now stronger, at least her, on, a, on a genetic level, the woman is now stronger from having had intercourse. So, you know, the article goes on to promote, you know, one man, one woman, kind of like spiritually, you know, you're actually becoming a part of the other person, so don't misuse that. But evolutionarily... You should, <laughs> you know, it makes sense to go out and, and spread it around, I guess, so to say. Uh, so I'll put a link to the whole deal uh, if you want to go check it out and read more.